Look at this. We're starting early and we're starting often. $300 billion of exports, um, including a lot of petroleum. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Because this is like, this is 60% of the United Kingdom's total exports. You're going to call me crazy on this one? I'm going Canada right out of the gates. Oh, not even close. Okay, we're 11,000 kilometers away. There was just a part of, I know, I know my economy fairly well. Listen, we got some oil. We got some mining. And then the rest, I'm pretty sure like 70% of our con economy is like costs associated with real estate. So I thought that there was a chance here that, that that was a reasonably good guess. Obviously, geographically, that's not the case. Could have looked at the rest. I'm not sure we grow too much tobacco. Crude petroleum. I mean, you're looking at OPEC nations. 10,000 kilometers away. This could be South America, depending on how west, or sorry, how east it is. I don't know if there's any country in like Western Africa that's exporting $300 billion. So I'm going straight to like Brazil. I'm going to guess this is more South than West than East. Brazil was actually like a worse guess. Okay, so it's way more East than South actually. So I'm just, I'm triangulating the position here. So could you turn down your motorcycle? If you guys can hear this, it's, it's actually like, it's 9, 10 a.m. The right time to drive your loud motorcycle is 4 a.m. Like, could this bozo get the memo? $300 billion. Am I insane to think that this, it's not going to be Russia. Russia is to the west of Canada rather than the east. 10,000 kilometers Certainly feels to me like this is like, I mean, I'm losing it. So across the entire Atlantic Ocean, could it be like, <laughs> they pulling a lot of petroleum out of, you know, part of me is also like, could this be like Norway? I'm like Norway, Spain, Nor give me, give me a Norway. I know they extract a lot of petroleum. Oh, okay. It's east of Norway. Is this even possible? We've like gone around the earth on this one. 5,000 kilometers southeast of Norway. How could it not be Russia? <laughs> I'm washed. 5,000 kilometers <laughs> I'm like, it's like equidistant between Norway and Russia, but we don't know the exact direction of the vectors. We only have an approximation. I'm assuming this is between Oslo and Moscow. They're pointing at like, they're pointing at Turkey. They're pointing at Turkey. Turkey exports a lot of petroleum, I hope. I'm officially washed. $300 billion. Broadcasting equipment, 2,000 kilometers southeast of Turkey. I feel like the UAE could not export $300 billion. We already had Saudi Arabia, right? I, I don't know. Could it be Iran? I don't think it could be Iran. Maybe it could be. It's going to be one. Could it be India? Could it just be India? Surely India, well, I have to imagine India probably exports like more than, well, I don't know. Let's give it a try. Maybe, maybe at this point, it's I'm already washed anyway. It is the UAE. <laughs> Honestly, big ups to the UAE. I know, I know that the UAE is rich. I didn't know it was rich enough to be exporting $300 billion a year. That's like 60% of the UK. That's crazy.
That's a lot. I live here? Okay. Congrat what do you want me to say? Congratulations? If I lived there, I probably would have gotten it. It is not Canada, though. I'll tell you that much. Enjoy your gold Lamborghini. I will never see you there. I will never do a meetup in Dubai. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, Dubai doesn't give me bad vibes, but the people who vacation in Dubai give me bad vibes. If you live there and then that's like you've chosen to make a life there, I have nothing but respect for you. But my ass is not... I don't have the value system that would lead me to Dubai. I have no value. I don't value gold or oil or wealth or <sighs> suction cup climbing the tallest building in the world without a, a, a harness or driving my SUV on two wheels while there's a passenger hanging out of the other side, live fast, die young, bad girls do it well, etc., etc. It's just not my tempo. I think I'd rather go to like, I'd rather go to Prague. Or something like that. Okay, hang on. No ad on this one. Start me in the UAE. It's not bad. 3,000 kilometers away. We're going to beat the washed allegations. Take me to Sudan. It's further away, thank God. That means this guest should be easier for me. Although if it's in here, things get a little spicy. Take me to India. It's adjacent to the answer. That really narrows it down. Take me to Bangladesh. No, I think that's too far. Take me to China. It's also adjacent to the answer. Take me to Bhutan. No. Take me to Nepal. What? <laughs> take me to... <laughs> take me to Pakistan. What? Take me to Bangladesh. I'm sorry, this is not possible. How can it be adjacent to all three of these countries? Oh, because it's Thailand. <laughs> Sorry, it's Myanmar. Ah, okay, there we go. That that one hurt. That one hurt getting to ten guesses when we were in the right vicinity, right off the right off the bat. But oh man, that's a tough one. Don't even start with me. Man's washed. Before you started watching me, you didn't even know how to spell Myanmar. You, but you didn't know how much extra lightning damage the legendary heroic destiny uh, sniper rifle did after you completed the mythic raid. We're normalizing you here, okay? You should show some respect rather than so much vitriol. I don't know what country this is. It looks like a, like, you're, it's like a pocket on an inside-out jean short. I'm going to say that you're... Romania. Wow, it's very close to Romania. You are Slovakia. Motherfucker. <laughs> North of Slovakia. You're Belarus. No, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're Czechia? I thought Czechia was a little longer. I could be wrong. I could have my perspective messed up. Oh, okay. Northeast of Czechia. Here we go. You're Belarus. Or you're Poland. You're Poland. I think I can see, is this Danzig right here? It is Poland. Okay, thank God. We got there. Fully non-rinsed. Thank you, thank you. 
You got those glare resistant glasses. I don't even want to brag. I was going to pay extra for the glare resistance at Costco. Kirkland Signature Promise. They, they do it for free. I was like, hey, can I get glare resistance? They were like, brother, you're an executive member. You already got it. Look at this. Not, you might see a little glare. You might see an infinitesimal amount of glare. That's just the way optics work. But like old glasses, I used to have to put my eyes in the perfect position to take a thumbnail. Otherwise, I would look like an anime protagonist. Actually, that was, was going to be like, actually, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> I've never seen one. But now... Look at this. Box office game, February 10th, 2012. A 20th Century Fox movie that has been at the box office for 15 years <laughs> made $453 million. Um, <laughs> hang on. This must be a re-release. An action-adventure science fiction re-release. So what is about 15 years from 2012? So about 2006, 2007? 20th Century Fox? I always think of X-Men. There's no way they re-released X-Men. Wait, 10 years is not... I, I'm thinking of 2022 instead of 2012. This is from the 1990s. A 20th century Fox movie being... Re I just need the actor. Because it's taking us back to like 1997. This must have been like a staggering amount of money at the box office in 97. Stars Liam... Oh, is it... Oh, is pre-Disney Star Wars? Could this be The Phantom Menace? The Panther Menace? It is. Okay. No disrespect. Imagine, like, knowing it's bad and then paying money to see it in theaters, like, 15 years later. I guess it's only 13 years later, but still. That's fucked up. <laughs> they made it 3D? Cool. Much like every Star Wars re-release, they made it worse. Okay. Sony Pictures movie open to $41 million. Uh, a little early in the year for this to be The Amazing Spider-Man or The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Let's get a genre. It's a romantic drama. Made $41 million opening weekend. It's 50 Shades of Grey. No? Okay. Stars Rachel Mac Adams. It's not The Notebook. That's like 0304. Time Traveler's Wife. Drama, romance. Is it The Time Traveler's Wife? Okay. Um... I don't know this movie. Actor 2, Channing Tatum. It's Magic Mike. It's not really... That's Doraemon, Nobita's new great adventure into the underworld, the seven magic users. Magic Mike? Okay. I, I don't think I'm going to know it. Give me all hints. Michael Sussie! Michael Sussie! Happy young married couple Paige and Leo are well, happy. Then a car accident puts Paige into a life-threatening coma. Upon awaking, she has lost the five previous years of memories, including those of her beloved Leo, her wedding, a confusing relationship with her parents, or the ending of her relationship with her ex-fiancé. I don't know this movie. This is called The Vow. $41 million is opening weekend. I don't like movies where Channing Tatum has hair. Sorry. I prefer Bald Tatum. Well, that's not totally fair, because 21 and 22 Jump Street are really good. Oh, it is Valentine's weekend. You're right. Universal opened the 40 mil. It's an action thriller starring Denzel Washington. It's the piece. It's the equalizer. That's it. I was like, it's the accountant, but it's not the accountant. It's the equalizer too. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Tagline. No one is safe. Actor 2, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I don't know this. Reveal all hints. A dangerous CIA 
renegade resurfaces after a decade on the run. When the blank blank he's remanded to is attacked by mercenaries, a rookie operative escapes with him. Now the unlikely allies must stay alive long enough to uncover who wants them dead. It's the CIA. Um, when the... I don't know it. When the crew group, when the unit group, when the safe house he's remanded to. <laughs> I have never heard of this movie before in my life. It opened to 40 mil. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. I have never heard of this. I swear to you. Okay, Warner Brothers opened to 27 mil. Action adventure science fiction film. Stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Pain and Gain. Rampage. Rampage? Could, it could be Rampage. It could be, um, it's not San Antonio or San Andreas. Action adventure science fiction. A journey to the center of the earth. Sent, holy cow. Oh, fuck. I really thought that was it. Tagline. Believe the impossible. Discover the incredible. Actor 2. Josh, Josh Hutcherson, also known as PETA. I have no idea, man. Reveal all hints. Sam Anders, Sean Anderson partners with his mom's boyfriend on a mission to find his grandfather who's thought to be missing on a mythical island. Give up. Journey 2, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's really Journey 2? That hurts. Oh, Journey 1 was Brendan Fraser. You're right. You're right. Man. No wonder so many people decided to go see Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. It's not made a ton at the box office. Stars Dane DeHaan. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the kid from um, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. I can't name another movie this lad has been in, to be honest with you. Tagline. Boys will be boys. Actor 2. Alex Russell. That's helpful. Um... Three high school... Oh, I do know this. It's Chronicle. Okay, this one's Chronicle. I didn't know Dane DeHaan was in Chronicle. I did know Michael B. Jordan in it, and I did know it was directed by this guy. I mean, considering our points, 29th percentile is actually better than I would have expected. Still pretty bad, though. I mean, this was uh, not the best weekend at the multiplex. Okay, Cine 2 Nerdle. We can, we can get some dopamine back on Cine 2 Nerdle. Although 3.8 out of 5, kind of hard. Okay, let's start. We got Chris Emsworth, Chris Evans, Meteor Hammer. I don't know what Meteor Hammer is, but I think I see maybe there's a... Wait, okay, I see Cabin in the Woods, a horror comedy starring Chris Hemsworth. Which also has Sigourney Weaver playing the director. Um, I see Ready Player One, which would be like Oasis. And then Not Ready Bride. I feel like I see Not Another Teen something. Chris Evans, Chris Evans is in that Not Another Teen movie. And then, okay, this is connected with, like, Not Ready Bride, I think. The, oh, this is Meteor. This must be uh, Kill Bill. Okay. And then Ready Oasis player, The Shining, the director. We just hot swap those. It's a given. Not Ready Bride. I don't understand this one, but we're going to get it. So we have Kill Bill, Ready Player One, Cabin in the Woods, Not Another Teen Movie. And then 
Ready Not Bride. Oh, Ready or Not is the is a horror comedy. That was a good one. I remember that. I don't know why I was trying to find Julia Roberts to make like Runaway Bride. <laughs> I was like, I don't see Julia Roberts or Richard Gere anywhere. Because she keeps getting betrothed, but she's not ready, so she's always running away. Okay, that was a good one. Now give me the reverse. Starring not Margot Robbie. Excuse me, put some respect on Samara Weaving's name. Who? Hugo Weaving's daughter? Her star-making turn was in Ready or Not? Okay, let me see. 101 Dalmatians, Scooby-Doo, Marley and Me, movies that are about dogs. Cujo, Hot Swap Me. Uh, horrible Bosses, The Devil Wears Prada, movies about bosses that are horrible. Zoolander, Along Came Polly, movies with uh, Ben Stiller, movies with... Uh, yeah, just work with me here. House of Gucci, Lady Gaga, Adam Driver. How, the movie's about fashion. Zoolander, House of Gucci, The Devil Wears Prada. Maybe Along Came Polly. Maybe Crawl. I don't know. But just give me a hot swap here and give me a hot swap here. These are movies about fashion. And then the extra connection is probably going to be movies where the bot movies with evil women. I know that sounds very sexist, but 101 Dalmatians has Cruella DeVille. Devil Wears Prada has Meryl Streep. Horrible Bosses has Jennifer Aniston. Maybe it's just movies with female bosses who are bad. Birds of Prey, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Wait, no, no, no. Movies with Jennifer Aniston. Bruce Almighty, Horrible Bosses, Along Came Polly, and something else. The Birds, Anaconda. These are all movies about animals that kill you. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, Avengers. Movies about a squad. Ex Expendables, movies about a squad. Scooby-Doo, movies about a squad. Am I crazy? I think I'm, I'm kind of washed. Marley and Me also features Jennifer Aniston. This, this one is, we can get there. Okay, and then we also know that these are movies about dogs. So it's like, swap me. Swap me. I would like to undo my previous swap. Hang on, so we got natural horror animals, dogs, Jennifer Aniston, Movies about fashion. No! Oh! <laughs> and then movies with a squad. Team up movies. Team squads, I told you. Oh, man. Jennifer Aniston squads, fashion dogs, and natural horror animals. Ooh, dude. Cine 2 Nerdle. What a game. Where's the evil women connection? Cruella DeVille, um, Anna Wintour, Jennifer Aniston in Horrible Bosses. She sexually assaults her employee, okay? I don't think that movie's a comedy. I think it's a cautionary tale. And then in Anaconda, the snake was a woman. Oh, you didn't know that? Probably because you just assumed that all monsters are men, you sexist. How do you feel about that? We got to go a little faster. Well, this is tough. Um, I don't know a single actor from Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. Okay, we can get out of here. <laughs> it's a British movie. There's many British actors and actresses in this. Actually, this is a star-studded cast, man, considering I've never heard of it before in my entire life. Um, 
this well t- we need to get to Sam Horthington or um Zoe Saldana. There's no way we can't get to Zoe Saldana via like um Andy Circus, Black Panther, Chadwick Bozeman, Infinity War, Zoe Saldana, Avatar 2 The Way of Water. Eat my shit. Okay, we did very well today. Boo, you used Marvel? I used Marvel because yesterday I didn't use Marvel and my route was like 80. Short as possible. Ewan McGregor, Dr. Sleep, Cliff Curtis, Avatar Way of Water. Okay, Cliff Curtis. I love some Cliff Curtis. Okay, guess the game. This is Metal Gear Solid 1. This is Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. This is Metal Gear Solid 1. Okay, we cost ourselves the one piece, but that's okay. The further away we get from the PlayStation 2 era, the more it and the PlayStation 1 era look the same in my head. Because all I have are my memories. And my memories bring back, memories bring back, do da 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 so it's Maroon 5, right? My favorite band. This is Genshin Impact. This is Star Rail. This is... They don't even have it in the, in the checklist. Skip me. Skip me. Skip me. Oh, it's Neon White. From last year. The game's so nice, they named it once. That was Game Boy Classic. Take me to artwork. Thanks, I've been working out. I'll tell you, there's no doubt I'm buying a single urethane bumper plate for 140 bucks. You should remove this advertisement from the rotation. I'm not paying 35 bucks for one 30, sorry, I'm not paying 140 bucks for one 35 pound plate. You've lost your mind. You've lost your mind completely. Why not? I'm a, I'm a $1 per pound sort of weight guy. I don't mind using a urethane bumper plate. I would rather use that than the ones that are just like rusted out iron. But four, $4 per pound is, is considered normal. Inflation really be like that. It is version 2.0 though. They're even more calibrated. The weight is even, it's more perfectly calibrated. $2 per pound is standard. Not when I bought a set of dumbbells from Canadian Tire in 2005. I skipped me on this one. I skipped me on this one. This is Batman and the Joker. This is probably Arkham Asylum. This is probably Arkham City. There we go. You fool, this is after we got out. Oh no, it's guess the game. <laughs> Sorry, not guess the game. Guess the game, though. Still stoked that I got one of these this week. Hey, Beanie Man, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Dark Souls 2. It is a third-person game. That helps out. It's a, it might be an adventure game, like 95% of games that have ever been released. It's more recent than 2014. This is the anthem, throw all your hands up. It's a third person game that came out last generation, earlier than 2019. And it was multi-platform, but not by EA, which means it was probably by Ubisoft or Square Enix. Let's assume this is a Ubisoft game and say this is Assassin's Creed, uh, let's go Assassin's Creed 4. Mm, it's not an Ubisoft game. Okay, oh, this came out way more platforms. Fair enough. My timeline was a little messed up. 
Uh, and it came out in 2013. We probably could have figured that one out for ourselves. It's not Ubisoft. Could be a Square Enix joint. Third person. Could be an RPG, too. It could be, it's not EA, so it's not going to be a Mass Effect. Could be a Square Enix joint. Could be Capcom's Remember Me. No, I think that came out in 2013 as well. You know what? Give it a chance. Just toss me a Remember Me and just see. You know what? It is a single-player, Unreal Engine, third-person game. Either from Capcom or from Don't Nod. I guess you would call um, Life is Strange, like you would call it an adventure game. Holy frick, it's the correct saga. It, it's Life is Strange too. Da 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 da! Only. New heads don't know that I played Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, and Life is Strange 2 on the stream. Why haven't I played anything else that Don't Nod has ever made? Because I played Life is Strange 2. Describe the plots. Life is Strange 1. A girl gets the ability to travel back in time. The more she uses it, um, the closer her town comes to destruction. She's forced to choose between the love of her life and the well-being of the community that has raised her. Life is strange before the storm. You find out why Chloe's so mad all the time. Hey, Beanie Man, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Life is strange too. Life is strange too is kind of like Joker, but for racism. It's like two very innocent young boys road trip through the United States and are victims of racism everywhere that they stop. Like, like everywhere. To the point where you're like, come on. Like they don't meet like two nice people. Like everybody they meet is just like, I don't like you, <laughs> even though you're 10. <laughs> So, uh, Peloton Recall? Yeah, we talked about it for like 10 minutes at the start of the stream. What do you, what, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at other streamers that have conditioned you to be like, they normally have nothing going on. So today is the eight hour Peloton Recall stream. In the title, big news, Peloton Recall. No, we're just, it's, I'm at work, dude. Don't worry about it. I'm late, sue me? Well, just, I'm not going to sue you. I'm just saying, like, you know, maybe if you're late, acknowledge that the thing that everybody's asking you about has probably already been talked about. It's talked about immediately. I was asked about it a hundred times in, like, three seconds. You should really put it in the title so people don't ask. Brother, most of the people on this website don't know how to read. I would have thought you would have known that by now. Okay, now let me guess this drama from 1994. There's three words, and everybody loves it, Okay. It's an R-rated drama from 1994 with three words. Nothing's immediately coming to mind. I'm going to call this Dangerous Liaisons 2 because I need it to be three words. The actors, many of them of European Maori descent, Maori descent, we've been through this before, are wonderful to look at. Okay, objectifying. They deliver authoritative yet sympathetic performances that get at the roots or rootlessness of their characters. I don't know. Left floundering in an inhospitable urban world, they have lost touch with their tribal past to become part of a rootless global subculture. The misery seen here would be familiar anywhere. I have no idea. What left floundering in an inhospitable urban world, to me that sounds like teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But it's powerful and chilling and directed by Lee Tamahori with such narrative momentum that we are swept along in the enveloping tragedy of the family's life. I don't know it. Am I crazy to think that Lee Tamahori also directed a Mission Impossible movie? It isn't an easy watch. Well, that, if, if it's not an easy watch, I don't know it, quite frankly. Once Were Warriors. feel like I have heard of this movie, but I have not seen it. It's Kino. I mean, it's got a 95, 93. The rare movie that 
unites the, the critics and the audience. Star Wars The Last Jedi could never. Quick 100 minute runtime. How long for tears afterwards, though? This is the Vietnam War, circa 1968. 1970, okay? Dude's really saying, like, fuck that bamboo in particular, huh? This is... Can you believe they used to play football with leather helmets? Like, what were they thinking? Was this before the invention of whatever helmets are made of? I couldn't tell you what a football helmet is made of. It's like iron-plated foam or something, but like really, like Kevlar foam. Vibranium. <laughs> they wish. Hey, this has got to be in the, like, in the 20s or 30s. Let's go 30 even. We take that. Holy cow. You would not catch my ass getting on this airplane. There is no shot. If I walk out on the jetway and this is my airplane, I am taking the bus. This, this shit looks like a screen door, man. <laughs> oh, no way. This is a 0% chance. Um, I got to assume that this is like pre-World War II, but not by much because there's not that much time between like the invention of flight and then like you know, airplanes that look like planes instead of a bicycle with an umbrella on the top of them. So give me like a, I'll take like a 33 here. I'll live with that. I will live with that. New Zealand asks you pr to protect the native bush from the Automobile Association of Wellington. Dude, dude's personality is literally that he owns a car. So this is like way back in the day. Those look like cars from the 1940s to me. Put me in 48. 36. That hurts. In a one-room schoolhouse, does everybody in this photo resemble Woodrow Wilson? I can tell you right away, this dude is the class clown. This would be the dude when the teacher's not looking... He'd be playing with the, the, the cup and ball. You know what I mean? He'd be like, oh, 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 Woodrow, I, I, did you, are you playing with a cup and ball again? No, no, Miss Smith. Because I thought I heard the telltale rattle of a ball landing inside of a cup. No, Miss Smith. And then she's like, he was doing it. He was playing with a cup and ball. Holy cow. <laughs> this is it's a terrifying image. No wonder people used to think that the camera like captured your soul. Like there's something very eerie about these photos. Anyway, I don't know. Post Betsy Ross era. I don't know when Betsy Ross invented the American flag. I'm going to assume this is in the 20s. We'll take that. Didn't quite cross 4,000 because we screwed up on the fourth guess, but still pretty good. 3,700. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Not washed completely. Oh, get fucked. Listed by Scotty Downing with Compass. Really? I would have thought he used a computer, given how high res the photos are. Okay, so the gate opens up to your palatial estate. Um, I got to start the bidding at 10 million. I mean, like this is it. I, I say it every time. It always depends where it is. 10 million is too high. It's in Austin, Texas. I still think this is going to be quite high. Like, what the... This is a resort, man. They have, like... It's five houses. It's a compound. I'm, I'm not going under 8 million until I see square footage, at least. That's still too high. It's 4,600 square feet. This, this shit's going to be, like, $7.5 million. You couldn't hire an interior designer.
look at the cabinets, man. <laughs> look at the cabinets. Look at the look at the cobblestone. I think it looks nice. We have different sensibilities, and that's fine. What did I get? I just guessed eight, right? I'll take it down to seven. Home theater is relatively nice. I'll give you that one. I, I, I prefer a little restraint in the home theater. I dislike when somebody with no friends is like, check it out. I have a 30 seat home theater in my house for watching One Piece, but it's their money. I'm just saying I dislike it. I would, it wouldn't be what I would choose for myself. Let me get five and a half. 1.34 acres. I feel like I'm like I'm washed today. That's still too high. Primary suite on the main floor with a walk-in closet. Three million? I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought houses in Austin were expensive. Three million dollars for 5,000 square feet. Swimming pool, hot tub, 17 bedrooms, uh, 15 bathrooms. Something's wrong with that house. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe somebody died there. It was the interior design. I'm, you know what? That's a house that needed to be like professionally staged. Austin's like the cheapest place in the U.S. No disrespect. You don't know what you're talking about. You ever see when we get like listed.fun and we end up in Ohio? You can get a house for like $62,000. This is a child shooting a gun at an insanely low-flying airplane. Is this Lee Harvey Oswald? <laughs> Russia? Yeah, I gathered that. Um, this is... <laughs> say this is Russia. Um... That's St. Basil's Cathedral. There it is right there. Thank you, Mario is missing. Um, go ahead and suggest, I mean, year-wise, this is messed up. But this kind of airplane, that's like an ultra, well, it's not an ultra light. That's a light airplane. It's not a fighter jet. I mean, I would hope a fighter jet's not flying this low to the ground in the, like a city center. I'm people are wearing like Adidas. I gotta think that this is like in the maybe this is like nineteen hairstyles. Got me thinking this could be like late sixties. Give me a sixty nine, nineteen eighty seven. <laughs> Holy cow! German schoolboy who illegally invaded Russian airspace during the height of the Cold War landing his plane in Moscow. I had never heard of this event before in my life. There's a, there's a German child flying that plane, landing it in, in the Red Square. That's crazy. He, he needs a Netflix documentary, not the dude who tried to buy a fighter jet with Pepsi points. This is South Africa during apartheid. It's in Johannesburg. The year is tough. This is like relatively modern dress. I, mean, I don't mean modern like 2000s, but I mean modern like maybe the 1960s. So let's go 1962. Let's go with what they gave us. It's 1921. What the hell? <laughs> Does she know that she's a time traveler? 1921? Holy cow. This is the filming of the movie Bros, circa 2022. Hello, sirs. <laughs> um, 
I mean, this is New York City. I'm going to say this is New York City. It's, it's close to the Empire State Building, but it's not on the Empire State Building. Maybe this is on top of Rockefeller Center. It's another tall building close by. This has got to be like 1960 even. No, this has got to be like 1930. Man, the 60s people had something to live for. But it's a spectacle. 1955. Give me 55. 1934! <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Good God. Listen, I know this is a sensitive photo, but the store is really called Panis. Like Justin's pharmacist. I'll just be straight up with you. I don't know. I mean, this, I don't know if you can see this, but this is like the Albanian crest. It's the bird going like, you know what I mean? And then the architecture does look European. Like this, this sign looks European to me. But then like... I mean, the, the flag, I just don't... I just don't know. I still don't know. I'm literally just seeing a bird. And I'm like, oh, this has got to be like Albania. But I don't... Listen, this one's just... I'm just begging you for mercy on this one. This is the capital of Albania. In 2020. I've never seen chat go faster. It's Catalonia. Oh, so it's Barcelona. That's so sad that that's my best guess. Is this the Catalonian flag then? Yes. Okay, what's, what's going on with this then? Somebody explain to me what, what Albania is doing here. It's not Albania? Yeah, no kidding. What is, what's the significance of the bird? How many places use that? I don't know. I'm from Ontario. It's just a cool bird. Oh, okay, well... I thought he was throwing up a gang sign, to be honest. You can't see his hand, but that's okay. This is the dude who was the architect for the Sydney Opera House in Sydney. Do you know, it's, there, there was a trivia question about this. He's like, um, he was inspired to make the Sydney Opera House after his wife served him this dish. I can't remember what it was. If it was like snails or um, popcorn or something or... <laughs> oranges! It was oranges. That's like a... It's a fibbage prompt or something. I'm like, dude is a horrible architect because they look nothing like oranges, man. If anything, it looks a bit like escargot. Anyway, the building looks pretty cool or whatever. This, uh, 62 seems like a great guess to me. 65? I'll take that. 33,000, not my best performance, but life goes on. It's a nice house. Sold on May 1st, 2023. It's a nice house, man. 1,800 square feet. Maybe 1,600 square feet. Let me get a 375,000 until we figure out where it is. That's too, uh, it's too low. It's in Lake Peekskill, New York. Now, New York is really two states. It's like New York City surrounding area, and then it's like upstate New York. I don't know where Lake Peekskill is, but let's take me up to 600 then. A little lower than that, okay? Single family home. We're going to get it today. Take me to 580. 
four beds, two and a half baths. Take me to 555. Sold for 555555. What is it? A Hollywood phone number? 1,500 square feet. This, there must have been a flip involved. This, listen, this place must have looked a little different in March 2022, okay? That's all I'm going to say. They, look, it, there's been some masonry done on the house. They got new siding. A new, you can definitely see that there's a new front door. It was built in 1929. Okay, they probably redone the house like 20 times. New roof. Okay, and travel. Today I'd like to go to Finland, from Finland to the United Kingdom. Now this might be semantic. But I feel like, can you not just go Norway? And then the United Kingdom? Because <laughs> like... I mean... Am I crazy? You need to get there by road? Then we can only go through France. That's, it, it has to be by road. I honestly thought if we shared a nautical border, they would count it. Okay, well then take me to Denmark instead. Okay, well, sorry. Take me to Sweden. I didn't, I didn't know I would be doing the whole uh, Scandinavian tour today. Take me to Germany. Take me to the Netherlands. Can we go straight to Belgium from Germany? I mean, what, it's a riskless guess. We can indeed, okay. But that's not the fastest. Oh, God, could have fooled me. Then from Belgium to France. I guess we could just go Germany to France. You just connect through Alsace-Lorraine, you fool. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I thought I had to stick to the, the north. Anyway, we made it today. Still good. 67% win percentage. We take those. How nice of you to think of little Belgium, though. Are you from Belgium? Or are you, uh, are you insulting Belgium? Because not on my watch. You know what? You're right. I thought that we would go that way because it's much, much faster in a car. Now that they got me thinking you have to drive, my ass is not going all the way south through Germany just to skip two borders that are both Schengen areas where they're just going to look at me and say, thank you for your business, come on through. My ass is going, maybe I'll go through the Netherlands and then Belgium, but I'm sticking to that North Sea coast. They don't even look at you in the Schengen area? Really? There's no one there? That's cool. So if you drive from like Belgium to the Netherlands, there's just like a sign that says you're in the Netherlands now. That's cool, man. Canada and the U.S. should do that. I haven't really thought about the implications. My ass is tired of getting grilled just going to the Bellevue Costco, though. Literally, you're telling me I have to talk to a police officer to go to a Costco? Like, there's the presumption of guilt as soon as you... Oh, you want to drive your car into our country? You got a condom full of heroin up your ass? Oh, no. Yeah, that's what they all say. Please, I'm just trying to get cheaper oat milk. Listen, you piece of shit. <laughs> Give me your cell phone. Anyway, it's never happened to me, but I've seen it on TV a few times. You drive all the way down to Bellevue? No, I would never tell you where I actually go in Washington because I don't want you to fucking find me there. I'm on vacation.